Hello fellow Brick Fanatics, DJ Bricks here, back for another video. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Here I am taking a look at a 2022 LEGO Jurassic World set based off of the installment that came out last year, Dominion. It is the Dinosaur Market. It is set number 30390. It is recommended for building ages 6 and up. Comes with 34 pieces and last year I paid... $4.97 for it here in the U.S. It's one of those poly bags where uh, Walmart just sticks it in like the impulse section and Target sticks it up by the registers and then, like the checkout aisle for impulse for kids with a allowance. So let's take a closer look at this set and see how it stacks up starting as always with the minifigures. For the main figure for this set, we get a generic guard, uh, pretty much made up of existing parts. Uh, the most interesting of which is uh, that one by one in trans orange that has the mosquito and amber. Uh, that has only really come in like bigger sets, and uh, it is very nice to get it in this cheap uh, $5 poly bag, so that is very nice. Otherwise, he's got plain uh, dark brown legs, he's got that Jurassic World torso, uh, fittingly enough, uh, from Zach, uh, printed there, and it's very nice. Uh, the head is uh, the Alden Ehrenreich Han Solo head, so... Uh, pretty standard expression there, and then he's got a beanie up at the top. Flipping the figure onto the back, we can see he has some very nice back torso printing, uh, hoodie and all, a little bit of wrinkles, and uh, if you're not familiar with that overused uh, young Han Solo head, he, it does have an alternate expression uh, where the face is more aggressive. And then the only other figure to note, Jurassic World set, so we do get some form of a dino. Uh, we do get the baby one here. Uh, it, it's still utilizing that mold that they introduced in the Fallen Kingdom line. Uh, and quite funnily enough, uh, this is the exact same print that was introduced back in that subline. Uh, they just reused it here, which is fine because that one hasn't really appeared in too much sets. And it does effectively look like a little baby dinosaur. Uh, this one's, I guess, supposed to be the raptor like it was back in, uh, in the Fallen Kingdom line. Uh, you can use it for like a baby T-Rex or something too, uh, but it is very nicely printed. Uh, you do have some nice uh, printing up at the top for all the little um, markings on it, and it is really nice to get much for the build for this site you get a small little market stall uh, front here you do have a little playpen uh, for the baby raptor to go in uh, it's very nicely built up uh, you do have some nice part usage here representing some of the shingles of the roof there uh, so that is pretty nice you do have uh, clips on either side uh, to attach something. On this side it's being used as an incubator for an egg so you do get a little heat lamp here and a little storage spot for uh, one of the uh, Lego egg pieces uh, to represent a dino egg uh, specifically for sale. Uh, you do have this, flipping around, you do have this nice little uh, stall area where I guess you can put uh, the minifigure behind there uh, make it look like he's uh, selling from there, but uh, I don't know how you sell in front of the dyno, uh, but you can play with it like that. But again, small little impulse poly bag, so not much here. So for extra pieces for the set, you get two whole studs and they're in two different colors. For the instructions, you just get one single leaflet printed front and back with the build. And then you just get the uh, set uh, box art image up there letting you know uh, what set it is. Looking at the packaging, that typical uh, $5 poly bag style, you do have all the hallmarks of the Jurassic World Dominion line with the gray tiles, the amber in the corner there. However, you are not we do not have the dino up in the upper right corner uh, joining out. That's the only difference. You do have a nice product shot of the set as well. 
And then I'm back, you do have uh, all the legalese, the coupon, all that jazz. So going into my final thoughts, I uh, really love this poly bag. It's a really good deal uh, for five bucks for a Jurassic World set. You, it really does add to the rest of the uh, dinosaur uh, black market uh, sub theme that was in Dominion. Uh, it does complement those sets pretty well. You do get some nice parts here, especially quite a few rare ones. Uh, you do get um, one of the eggs uh, that, and that more specifically, you do get that one by one of the amber print and that uh, baby dino. Uh, those two uh, don't really appear that much in. Uh, sets and it's good to get them in a cheap little set here so all in all this set does get a solid five out of five for me uh comment below i want to know your thoughts on the set uh until next time stack on